right, man. DJ Academics on Twitter said that Nicki Minaj put cheese on his head, put a hit out on him after all the ish he been talking about her, saying that Cardi B makes uh, better music. Let's talk about it. We back. Goodfellas Sports TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. And um, you know what? When you, you got an opinion and you go out there and talk reckless like him and you show your face on YouTube and... You talk going back and forth. He's talking shit to a rapper that didn't sell that much with a ton of features a couple weeks ago. It is what it is. It's funny. It came down to her, you know, to make him feel threatened that way. You know, and all the other dudes that that threatened him, the the the, the, the cat from uh, Chicago that just had the dress on threatened him. Um, a lot of other rappers that came for him and stuff. And Nicki Minaj is who he feared. And he out here letting the world know. And a, a screenshot had come up. Uh, if he go missing or miss a meal, Nicki Minaj did it. And at the end of the day, you know, birds of a feather flock together. Him and six nine, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> both, <laughs> both snitching. But hey, he says Nicki Minaj just put a uh, a hit on me. If anything happens or I miss a meal, she did it. So at the end of the day, he already letting you know. He telling on her before it e before it even get done. He going to social media and. At the end of the day, she's a retired rapper. She's trying to start a family, you know. Uh, but but like I said before, you know, with people talking about, you know, her retire, you know, music just passed people by, especially rap music. It's a hard genre to stay on top like Jay-Z through the 90s and 2000s and going into the 2020s just to stay relevant, not even stay on top. And you also can look at, uh, you also can look at LL, 80s, struggle a little bit in the 90s, but call this tempo in the early 2000s, man. It's tough. And Nicki Minaj had a hell of a successful career. But all I'm saying is DJ Academics, you know, he got a huge platform, had a hell of, got a hell of a channel. But, you know, really what qualifies him to talk shit about rappers? You know, he got an opinion and if his opinion, Cardi is better. But he should just leave it at that, you know, and just let it be. But at the end of the day, you know, she trying to be like Griselda Blanco out here. I heard J-Lo supposed to be playing her in a movie or something. She trying to be cutthroat. And at the end of the day, in the underworld, a lot of the females are more cutthroat than the dudes. You know how many times dudes probably could have caught academics and, and bust this shit in, but they didn't. You know, but he probably the feds anyway. You go ahead and touch him, you're going to end up doing 20 to life. Look at this boy snitch nine. You know, getting ready to testify that his only role in the tradeway gang was to get money. And then he about to walk free. I don't trust none of them dudes, man. Anybody that associate with somebody that's snitching or any any of them, get, get the hell, hell away from me, man. I don't do that illegal shit, but still, I ain't trying to be around that, man. But I wonder if she going to have something to say about it. And if she did, I wonder how much she put on him. You know what I'm saying? How much is he worth is the question. <laughs> how much is, is DJ Academics' head worth on the platter? But he let the world be known. If he get touched, it was her. And I just don't understand. I don't understand. He, was he really going hard on Nikki like that? But Nikki, she real, real, she real, real uh sensitive. And um, but hey, you know, just just looking at this tweet too, he go on and say somebody say Nikki hasn't been able to put a hit out in years. You will be fine. He said, bro, that's true. No solo hit, but still, this ain't no joke. I'm the last real nigga here. All these niggas get in line. <laughs> I need life insurance. You the last real way here. When you been real, you know, just about your opinion and, and, and on music and shit. But yeah, uh, you know, I, she real, real sensitive. But they be doing a lot of things for clout. You know, Nikki been picking on. Uh, he started with the Joe Button and bring it up. Oh shit! Then she started with Rick Ross, and then she just been really just picking, trying to find something to be relevant because her music ain't hot no more. They was casting the shows and stuff. So it wouldn't be surprised me if she used DJ Academics and uh, as you know as another thing to kind of stay relevant. I really don't believe she she retired not a hundred percent. I believe she'd be back. I just think she building up the anticipation for her new album. At the end of the day, you don't say you got a new album coming out. You don't do all this drama shit. It's time to stay relevant. Trying to use Megan the Stallion to stay on top. You don't do none of this shit without and just throw the album out. Unless you listen to the album and it was trash. But really, you do whatever 12, 15, 20 songs on the album, whatever they're doing these days. 
and you wait, you wait till you about to be finished with the album, announce it to trash it. I think Nikki doing all this for clout. She using DJ Academics, who got a huge platform for clout. At the end of the day, if his life was on the line, shit, he'd grow, he'd drive right to the police station. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, he had them feds all around him, man. So I just think this is another move for Nikki for clout uh, to gain some momentum. I expect her to pop up in a month or two, probably not even that, before Christmas or before the new year. And or after the new year and pop up with a new album. Just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about the situation. I'll link the Twitter sources in the description so you can see it for yourself. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have a business question, acquire response, ship a video quest. Keep sharing the videos. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, the Hell Blaze at the Promo code Goodfellow One Boxing to 18% off the hundred percent all natural products. Website promo code description. Appreciate the love, support. Let me know how you feel in the comment section. And um one time for the one. All right, don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at thehellblaze.com. Promo code Goodfellow One Boxing. Get you 18% off the 100% all natural products. Website, promo code description. Thanks.